You mentioned how um, uh, how 85%, of, I think you said 85% of the public in America disproves of the Congress. But disproving of Congress doesn't actually mean they understand just how, um, just how extensive the marriage between corporations and Congress is. People know these problems, but just how much of how much of the problems do they are they really aware of in America, as opposed to in Egypt, which sparked a revolution there? Okay, I'll, I'll just answer quickly on that. I think if you want to help cha change uh, a country, or you believe in the power, of, if if you want to empower people, the first thing you have to do is believe in people. People are a lot smarter than you're giving them credit for. The people know. The people know very well. If I followed your logic, then I would say I could never believe in change in my country. In Egypt, I would never believe. How would I say? I'm talking about people who are illiterate. Illiterate, who, who some of them have never left their village. But in their hearts, they know that they're living in an unjust society. They might not act on it, but you have to realize that acting without finding a path to follow, not everyone's willing to do that. Most of the people that are hurt by the biggest ails of this country are probably working two jobs to support their family to even just be alive. You know, in their hearts, they want to change things. You know, but you need to you need to have a lot more faith in people if you want people to change. Okay, and and on top of that, I don't think people need to know all the details of Monsanto. That people need to know that that food prices are, are increasing that their paycheck isn't doing what it used to be able to do, and that the idea of the American dream is l starting to look like the American fallacy. I think that's what people can feel. And what Occupy tapped into when it first came out was that, that feeling of outrage, which was universal. All of America was not supportive of, the, of, of what was happening with the financial crisis. You know? And with what Ahmed was saying to, as a message to you and to everybody is put the goal of change, of the, the unifying goal for change, above yourself. Right? So, don't allow your own ego to come in the place of the goal that the people share. You know, and when it becomes about my personal goal versus his personal goal versus that personal goal, that's when the movement starts to break apart, and it becomes which way do we want to go, left or right, or this or that? And then this guy changed his mind, so well, he's no longer in the group, and that one's out of the group. I've lived this for the last two years. Keep it unifying always. Include everybody. It's the only way you'll have any legs. Sorry, but that's just my 